Cold Children's Museum presents Home Zone, learning experiences you can do at home. Hi, my name is Amelia, and today we're going to explore building bridges using different household materials. Some different materials you can use for your bridges are things like books or boxes to kind of be the support for your bridges, and then other things like paper or straw, different items to actually become your bridge. The first thing I want to do to get started is I'm going to try and find out, using my paper, how far apart my supports need to be. So if I am too far apart, it might fall. Maybe I'll test if I'll move just a little bit more and see what happens. You can also test moving them really close and see what happens as well. I'm going to start right about here for now. So once I have my paper on here, I'm going to test with an object. If you have younger children, we recommend just starting with one heavy object to test it out. So I might test with my object. Oh, my bridge fell. I wonder why that happened. And then I can explore what can I do next with my paper. Maybe I can roll my paper. Maybe I can fold my paper. Maybe I just need more paper. So I can test out with the paper and see if there's a way that I can use my paper to be able to hold this heavy object. If you have older children, an additional challenge that you can add is trying different materials such as straws, as well as instead of just having one item, you can start with multiples of an item. So adding multiple pennies. I might start with just one penny and then continue to add them to see how much weight my bridge can hold. All right, have a lot of fun. Some great questions as they're exploring is, why do you think that happened? What could we do next? How, what could we change? And what could we add? Have fun.